four different things. Man, birds, four for each creature. What are the what kind of birds do you think it might refer to? Does it, does it have something that Barbara? Yes, sir. Uh, just a second to back up. No. Um, it's the uncorruptible God, but it is an image. Yes. So they took the God, particular mm -hmm. and specified, who is uncorruptible, and they turned it into a general, normal general image. Indefinite image yes, made you. like to the corruptible man, birds, four foot beast, creatures. What kind of birds do you think they might use? They still have maybe today? So they worship birds today, some people? I suppose. Yeah, uh, the eagles, the Indians do eagles. Yeah, the eagles and so on. And corruptible man, uh, some people, uh, the images of the Indians, the American Indians, uh, pictures of sometimes. Uh, four foot of beast, what kind of beast would those be? Bulls. Could be bulls, Goats. ghosts, wolves, wolves. Uh, creeping things. What would those be? Yeah. Bugs. What is it? Insects. Insects? Snakes. Snakes? Yes. The um, Egyptians worship the scarab beetles. The scarab beetle? Yes. The scarab? The scarab? The little beetle? Oh, right. the scarab beetle. Yeah, the scarab beetle. Scarab beetle. Hmm. Oh, who worships that? Egypt. 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 They worship a bird of some sort? Oh, they had everything. Falcons and everything. Oh, yeah. They yeah. worshiped if it, if it moved, they worshiped them. <laughs> now, those things that are corruptible, mm -hmm. are they, can they be turned into gods? Yes. But they think they're gods, they worship them. If so so much you worship, you look up to them, all right? Yeah. How do you look up to a little four-footed beast or creeping thing? Which <laughs> looks down, but not up. All right, let's read verse 24, 25, and 26 together. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness, to the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies, to clean themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, they, that they grew up under vile affections, leaving the their women to change the natural use in the that which is against nature. Right, verse 24. Why is the wherefore there? It's like because of, uh, because they, it's referring back to All right. choices. It says also God gave them up. What happened first before God gave them up? They made idols. They made idols and we really, them. that's right. And they gave him up, yeah, right? Yes. They gave him up and worshiped these false idols, as you say. And so he gave them up. Uh, he tried, I'm sure, to, to win them. He tried to, to speak to them. Is that, God does that today, that to people even today. He tries, but after a while, the end it stops. Let's see, we got an airline here. Yeah, we're well, right there. And live from Chicago, we're at Rob Winograd. Kill him, kill him, kill him. But the girl, a wonderful big girl, let's save him. And who cares about the baby? Terrible people's emotions that are so different. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a terrible situation. You know, nobody likes to kill a girl, but on the other hand, 
what kind of a parent do they have? Of course, what kind of a fence is three feet high? Of course, a little boy should have climbed up, but he climbed up and went down and in. Uh, the point of it is, we're in a serious situation, and uh, as Rob says, I think people, some of them, think more of a gorilla than a little, little boy. <laughs> so, God gave him up, and uh, in verse 24, uncleanness. What is involved in uncleanness? Is uncleanness always visible? No. No, no it, can, it eventually comes out, but it can be secret, be quiet. It could be very subtle. He gave them up. Did they want to be unclean? Did these people want to be unclean? Yeah. No, they probably did. Is it hard? Do you want to go that way? Fine. Be my guest. The Lord just gave them up. How was this ratified or conducted, this uncleanness in verse 24? How was it accomplished? The lusts of their own hearts. Started with the heart. Uh, and from the heart, the issues of life, and all the other things, uh, that's why it says, the Lord Jesus in the book of Matthew, adultery can be committed in the heart. He says, not that a man cannot simply look at a woman, but to lust after her has committed adultery with her in his heart. Amen. See, the Lord Jesus puts his finger on the heart. Inside of us, the heart can be the sinful part. And it's works it so about, works it so about. So uncleanness through the lust of their hearts. And so what did they do after their lust of the heart? Once they got the heart mangled, verse 24, what else did they do? They mangled their bodies. Mangled their bodies. They signed their, their own bodies. Uh, it's a terrible thing. How do people dishonor their bodies today? Same way. Yeah, right, what way would that be? What are some of the dishonorable ways people are dishonoring their bodies? Homosexual relations. Homosexual relations dishonor their bodies. What else? Sexual relations outside. Sexual of relations outside of marriage. Adultery. What else? Drugs. Drugs. Yes, percent. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. All of these things. It's terrible. Uh, it's a terrible, disgraceful thing. And the smoking, cigarettes, whatever. Oh, yeah. And the dishonoring their bodies. Between themselves. In other words, they have that misery loves company. Remember they used to say that. Mm -hmm. And they want to have fellowship with wickedness and evil. And pow, pow. And uh, one of the men that we eat at a place every Sunday, uh, he's from the Latin American countries. He's Spanish. I talk to him in Spanish all the time. Say hello in Spanish, different things. And he used to be with a gang that had all kinds of wicked things. He said, I broke from that gang. I moved away from it. I'm here. I'm trying to live my life as, as good instead of bad. Seriously, he was into drugs. And I, I don't know. He didn't go into detail. But that's a testimony. of like, Here's a young man. I don't know what his age is. But someone that comes to our church? No, we, 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 have, we go to dinner with him, supper with him uh, every Sunday. He's over at that, that restaurant. He's the one that uh, cleans up after the people. You remember? I speak yeah. fast to him. How are you? You mean in the evening? In the evening, it's not Sunday one night. Of church people. Oh no, Sunday night. Sunday. Bus boy. Bus boy. Oh, I the know bus the boy. bus boy. Yes, yes. I thought it was one of our church people that no. I didn't catch on. No. To <laughs> no, I should have said <laughs> Sunday <laughs> evening. See, because Sunday got mixed up with Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he told us when he was in New York what he used to do. Yes, yes. So, but they're among themselves with company, the companionship and evil. Mm -hmm. uh, did we read, we read 25, did we? Yes. yes. Okay. What does it mean to change the truth of God? Exchange, it means. Uh, exchange. Yeah. Into what? It's the okay. truth changed into a lie. We're truth. back from specifics to generalities. Generalities. What are people doing today with Bibles? They're changing, They're changing the, the change. truth. Change the truth. A lie. And Philippians 4.13, let's say it. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. How do they change that? How do they change that in these new versions? The one who strengthens to take away Christ. They don't believe. See, the Gnostics didn't believe that Christ was anybody, so they just remove it. I mean, all these verses, based upon the false Gnostic critical Greek text, have not Christ in there because he's a nobody as far as Gnosticism. And these people swallow that thing lock, stock, and barrel. 
I mean, fundamentalist people, Bob Jones University, pushing the English Standard Version. It's got this very thing wrong about different things. They're changing the truth of God into a lie. And it won't be too long before, well, look at all these new Bibles. Uh, 